Greetings, wise ones, and welcome or welcome back to the 8th House Wisdom channel. I'm Melissa of 8th House Wisdom, author, psychotherapist, business astrologer, feminine energy, and stellar planning expert. On this channel, we help you leverage the power and wisdom of moon cycles through astrology and lunar wisdom formula applications, specifically for female entrepreneurs, executives, and professionals. I'm here with the weekly moon forecast for Libra season, focused on supportive tools for business and career that are aligned with the first quarter moon in Capricorn, which happened on October 10th, 2024 at 2.55 p.m. Eastern Time. This first quarter moon is the midway point between the new and full moon phases with the active yang energy phase and make it prime time to take decisive action in support of any new moon intentions. And since we're just coming out of a new moon solar eclipse, where we didn't set intentions, but allowed things to unfold, we should have some level of clarity to work with over the next week leading to the full moon. In this video, we're gonna cover four business structures that blend the harmonizing grace of Libra with the tenacity and high standards of Capricorn, along with four tips to prepare for Pluto's end of retrograde happening on October 11th and the remainder of its final visit in the sign of Capricorn in our lifetime, as well as the newest retrograde in the lineup, which is Jupiter's retrograde in the sign of Gemini. So if you'd like to know more about these topics and how to navigate the emotional and practical waters over the next lunar week, stay tuned for the rest of this video and give it a thumbs up so that it can be shared with more wise ones via the YouTube algorithm. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to this channel for more superstar business astrology applications to create alignment, balance your yin and yang energy, and experience more ease and flow in your business and career life by keeping you in your soft girl era. Well, wise ones, welcome to the first week post the Libra new moon solar eclipse, which makes this the first full lunar week post that intense energy. As we look at navigating the energies of Libra season and what to do under the energy of the first quarter moon in Capricorn, we find ourselves in a powerful cardinal phase where initiating action is key. Libra's air sign qualities bring harmony, social grace, and balanced partnerships to our world, especially in our business and romantic relationships. While Capricorn's earth sign energy provides structure, discipline, and the determination to achieve long-term goals. Together, these signs form a cardinal energy signature that promotes leadership, direct action, and focused momentum, making it an ideal time to solidify your business intentions as we begin the final quarter of the year and business year. The first quarter moon in Capricorn really encourages us to take bold steps towards our goals, addressing challenges head on with grace and practicality. This is a great energy to step into after the powerful Libra new moon solar eclipse. And in thinking about preparations to move forward throughout the rest of this lunar month, it's also important to consider the outer planetary influences that shape the collective business environment happening in October. On October 9th, Jupiter stationed retrograde in Gemini, inviting a period of introspection around growth strategies, while Pluto's retrograde, which ends on October the 12th, signals a shift towards transformational action as we experience the final passage of Pluto in Capricorn for the next 248 years, marking the end of an era. So the rest of this video is dedicated to me guiding you through four business structures that harness the combined energies of Libra and Capricorn, providing a balanced approach to achieving your goals. And then we'll move into a discussion 
of four tips for navigating the upcoming astrological shifts that are happening within the collective space to help you best align with these powerful energies and the most salient transits or energy signatures that will be happening during this lunar week. So make sure that you grab a copy of your personal and or business astrology chart and let's get ready to dive in. To apply the information in this video, click the link below to get a free copy of your birth chart. Understand your planetary placements and get your planet positions at birth so you know where all the signs are in your chart. All right, let's get started with tip one which is established strategic alliances. Libra's diplomatic and partnership-focused energy pairs well with Capricorn's practical and goal-oriented nature to form strategic alliances. Use this time to strengthen your business relationships by creating formal agreements or partnerships that can mutually benefit both parties. Aim for alliances that bring both harmony and structure, setting clear goals and expectations for the collaboration. Tip number two is create a balanced leadership framework. Capricorn energy thrives on structure, while Libra energy focuses on fairness and equality. Develop a leadership approach that balances accountability with flexibility, ensuring that team members feel supported while maintaining high standards. Use performance review systems or feedback loops to encourage continuous improvement while recognizing individual strengths. Tip number three is implement structured networking plans. Libra's sociable qualities combined with Capricorn's methodical approach, make it an ideal time to plan your networking activities. Outline a structured plan for attending industry events, joining professional groups, or meeting potential clients. Set clear intentions for each connection, aiming for quality over quantity to build relationships that will benefit your business in the long term. Tip number four is design a workflow system with built-in accountability. Capricorn's disciplined energy favors a well-organized workflow, while Libra encourages finding balance in your daily tasks. Set up project management tools that not only track progress, but also incorporate time for collaboration and team feedback. This will ensure that while you are making steady progress, there's also room for adjustments and course corrections based on team input. The next series of tips is about navigating planetary shifts, starting with reflect on long-term goals during Jupiter retrograde in Gemini. With Jupiter retrograde, which began on October 9th, it's time to revisit your business's growth strategies. Reflect on whether your long-term goals align with your core values and consider where you may need to make adjustments. The retrograde period is ideal for gathering information and refining plans before moving forward. And that's especially important with Jupiter in Gemini, where it tends to struggle to determine focus and stay on target since Gemini is known for multi-interests, which can look like scattered and fractured energy under this influence. Tip number six is prepare for Pluto's final visit to Capricorn. As Pluto's retrograde ends on October 12th, so will its final transit through the sign of Capricorn, which will officially end in mid-November, which focuses us on transformation within our business structure. Identify any outdated systems, processes, or mindsets that may be holding you back and commit to letting them go. This is a period of deep restructuring, so embrace the changes that come with this once-in-a-lifetime planetary alignment. Tip number seven is enhance communication strategies during Jupiter's retrograde. Jupiter's retrograde in Gemini highlights the importance of clear communication. Take time to review your business's messaging, marketing strategies, and content plans to ensure that they effectively communicate 
your brand's value. This is an opportunity to refine your voice and connect more authentically with your audience. And last, but certainly not least, is tip number eight. Leverage Pluto's direct motion for empowerment and leadership. Once Pluto goes direct, it's time to step into a position of greater authority within your industry, especially since Pluto will be leaving Capricorn, the sign of patriarchy, masculine energy, business structures, traditional setups, and business for the rest of our lifetimes, literally, another 248 years and it will be returning to Aquarius where it made a quick dip trip in 2023 which allows us to use this transformative energy to make bold moves break away from certain types of traditions whether that looks like the way you've always branded marketed or set up structures and becoming open to innovation and change in the Aquarian realm and energy. This also looks like checking in on whether or not you need to take on a leadership role in a professional organization for non-entrepreneurs, launch a new initiative timeline, or advocate for necessary changes in whatever structure your career or work takes and if you do not have one of those then this will be about your whatever domain you are creative in and make contributions that also reflects you in a public manner allow for pluto's influence to fuel your ambition and set the stage for a powerful conclusion to 2024 and the end of a 16 year era that began in 2008. So to wrap up this video, let's quickly recap the key points that we talked about today. We discussed four business structures that blend Libra's harmonious qualities with Capricorn's structured energy, establishing strategic alliances, creating balanced leadership frameworks, implementing structured networking plans, and designing workflow systems with built-in accountability. These approaches will help you make the most of the active yang energy during the first quarter moon in Capricorn. We also cover four tips to navigate the planetary shifts of Jupiter retrograde in Gemini and Pluto's final visit to Capricorn, reflecting on long-term goals, preparing for deep structural transformation, enhancing communication strategies, and leveraging Pluto's direct motion for empowerment. Each of these practices will support you in staying balanced, direct, and successful as we move through Q4. And so that brings us to the end of the weekly moon forecast. I want to thank you for watching today. And I hope that these insights and tips help you to create a harmonious and structured approach to your career and business as we begin the final quarter of the year. If you found this video or any information in it helpful, please give it a thumbs up so that it can be shared with more wise ones via the YouTube algorithm. And please don't hesitate to share it with one of your besties or a person in your business network who could benefit from applying this stellar information. And don't forget to subscribe to the Eighth House Wisdom channel for more stellar business astrology insights and hit the notification bell so you never have to miss an update. Because as I always say, life and business do come with an instruction manual. It's written the stars. Until next time, keep aligning your business with the cycles of the moon. Balance your yin and yang energies as we move towards the full moon. And you will have just what you need to stay in your soft girl era. See you in the next video, wise ones. Take care. Get into your feminine y'all. And create a role in the feminine flow masterclass beginning in September, where I will help you unlock the power of your own to transform your business, leadership, and life. In this masterclass, you'll learn how to harness the natural rhythms of the lunar cycle to achieve more with less stress, make confident decisions, and create a balanced, fulfilling daily routine by integrating my lunar wisdom formula into your life. 
This will help you discover a holistic approach to success that empowers you to lead with clarity and purpose. Enroll before September 3rd to get a $30 discount by enrolling early. The link is in the description below. Are you ready for a stellar breakthrough? In this 30 minute spree stellar breakthrough analysis, we'll identify the top five things that might be holding you back from aligning to your personal stellar success cycles. And the one thing that you need to do to move forward into ease and grace. Current energy vibes, the year ahead, your story, whatever you need to discuss related to the flow, timing, and planning in your life, we can start to work it out using astrology. Book your private session today by clicking the link below or just come to the website and see what service works for you. I'd love to be your stellar planning and lunar wisdom formula guide to living a soft life in business and beyond. Check out my new Etsy store called Stellar Planning Tools to get some of my newest products to support you in applying stellar planning, the lunar wisdom formula, lunar self-care, and to expand your manifesting practice. My new series, The Wise Woman's Mindset and Self-Care Guides, are being offered exclusively on Etsy. These guides were created to assist you in living with more ease, grace, and with a process to make lasting change in your life. Check them out. Link is in the description below. Discover the keys to your life's path and purpose by reading the stars with a free personal astrology report sample from 8th House Wisdom. From obstacles to opportunities, these reports teach you what you need to know to thrive. Try out any of these eight types of astrology reports, two multi-package reports, and one tarot reading in the 8th House Wisdom Astro Report Store before you buy them. They're available for immediate download and specific to you, your life, and your unique birth information. Crystals are a fantastic tool to harmonize and ground your energy. Use my coupon code 8 House Wisdom for 11% off high quality ethically sourced crystals. Click the link in the description below to shop today. Get an in-depth look at the astrology of 2024 and more information about my stellar planning process with this free workshop, Stellar Planning for 2024. Think, speak, and grow an abundant new year. Click the link in the description below to watch now. Remember, wise ones, life does come with an instruction manual it's written in the stars. Please like, share, and comment on this video. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Sending you so much light and love. Take care.